is now time for questions. The member from Renfrew, Jefferson Pembroke. Time for him to yak. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Premier, when the election was called, people across Ontario were still waiting to find out the facts about the billion-dollar gas plant scandal here in the province of Ontario. Now, you've apologized for the billion dollars over and over again. We understand that. But there's some unfinished business. A police investigation into criminal activity, possible criminal activity. We were waiting to hear at the Justice Committee from two very important witnesses, Peter Feist and Laura Miller. Now, Premier, I'm going to ask you this. When committees are reconstituted, yep. will you ensure that we have the opportunity to interview and de depose witnesses, Peter Feist and Laura Miller, who are central to this criminal investigation? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, thank the member opposite for the question and I made it very clear uh, during the election campaign Mr. Speaker that we believe that it was important that the Justice Committee should be able to complete its work should be able to uh, write a report Mr. Speaker um, as the member opposite knows the committee uh, had the opportunity to look at 400,000 pages of documents Mr. Speaker and uh, including 30,000 from uh, from the premier's office there were more than 70 uh, witnesses that were uh, were in front of the committee mr. speaker so um, really I believe that it is very important that the uh, committee have the opportunity to do the writing of that report so that they uh, so that the conclusions that it reached as a result of uh, looking at all of those documents and hearing all that testimony will be in a report that can uh, provide advice uh, for going forward Thank you. Supplementary. premier I hardly think it's time for report writing when we have yet to hear from the two key witnesses. If Perry Mason found out that there was two eyewitnesses to the case, they would be heard. Now, we're, all, we're asking you, you have the power. Don't let this report get written. It is not time to write the report. It is time to hear what Peter Feist and Laura Miller know. They are the central characters in Order. this paper. They know what happened. We are talking about deleted emails, destroyed documents. This is a serious, serious case. You cannot put this off and say it's time to write the report. The people of Ontario have the right to know what happened. These people, they will not speak to the police, as is their right, but they have said through their lawyers that they will testify before the Justice Committee. Question. Will you not take your responsibility seriously and allow those witnesses to come before the Justice Committee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would uh, remind the chair of cabinet that um, when I stand, nothing happens. Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, um, as the uh, as a number of my colleagues on this side of the, of the house have said, you are not Perry Mason, but your performance was worthy. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Speaker, I just I just want to clarify. In fact, there were um, there were some comments made. Um, by uh, the member for Toronto Danforth on December 12th, actually, Mr. Speaker, of uh, uh, last year. Um, and he said at that time, I believe it's time for us to get down to report writing. We've amassed a large amount of evidence, both oral and in electronic copy. Um, and at the same time, he, uh, he made this motion, Mr. Speaker. I move that the Standing Committee on Justice Policy meet on the following days for the purpose of report writing, Mr. Speaker. So that was the member for Toronto Danforth on December 12th. Uh, uh, 2013. Um, the member for Bramley Gormald on April 29th of this year said, I move that the Standing Committee on Justice Policy begin report writing in open session. So, Mr. Speaker, in fact, there were members of the committee who were uh, fully apprised of what uh, the committee had gone through, fully apprised of the information that the committee had in front of it, who actually believed that it was time for report writing, Mr. Thank you. Speaker. I believe that. I concur. Thank you. Final supplementary. Well, Speaker, I'm not pretending to be Perry Mason, but I will say this. At the time of that motion before the committee, Peter Feist and Laura Miller were not even known about. Nobody knew the role that they played. 
Yeah. That was you're premature, and you're wanting the people to hear what you want them to hear. Yeah. But. What the people really want to hear is what Peter Feist and Laura Miller had to do with this caper. They want to know what their involvement was and who else is involved in this possible criminal activity. Yep, exactly. You have a responsibility the premier of this province. You have, uns you have absolute power now. You've got your majority. You can com compel this committee to see those two witnesses so we will finally hear who, who might be responsible for the destruction of documents and the deletion of emails. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker, and I thank the member opposite for his inspiring performance. Uh, uh, today we were missing him uh, in the in the house, and I remind I remind the member opposite that he's also not the OPP, Speaker. There, there is a criminal investigation, as you're aware, in, in this matter. It is before the police, and I think it will be the prudent thing to do for all the members to let the police do exactly. its work, uh, exactly. uh, 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 Speaker. In fact, I agree exactly. with what the, the leader of the opposition said on, on July the 14th, where he said that we'll have to rely on the OPP to do their business right. there. He was right, uh, Speaker, and I, I, I urge the members to rely on the OPP to get the work done, yes, um, and that is the most prudent course and we should let the police do its job. Thank you very much.